Next up, Sarah Smalley, co-founder and vice president of strategy at Voiceit. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm the co-founder of Voiceit. We are a startup based in Tel Aviv, Israel. And the, our mission through Voiceit is to give people with speech disabilities their voices back by making speech recognition truly accessible to everyone. My grandmother was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at age 40. By the time I was born, she had lost most of her motor capabilities and her speech was highly unintelligible. Even as a young child, I felt her pain and frustration when it was so hard for her to communicate even basic needs like I'm thirsty or it's cold. This is the day-to-day -day experience for millions of people around the world with speech disabilities. Uh, children with cerebral palsy or autism, adults with stroke, ALS, or Parkinson's disease. For many of these people, the simplest tasks, ordering a coffee, asking for directions, saying, I love you, is nearly impossible. So the story of my grandmother and the hundreds of other personal stories that people have shared with us were our inspiration to develop a new speech recognition technology that learns the person's unique way of speaking, even if it's highly unintelligible to the human ear, and then translate in real time. Machine learning mechanisms enable the system to continue to learn and adapt, even if the person's voice changes over time. Going further, we've integrated our technology by designing a wearable device that's specially designed to the unique needs of our users, many of whom have motor control challenges along with their communication problems as well. This wearable device we're developing together with a manufacturer based in Western New York, and we're testing our mobile application and wearable device with over 200 users uh, via our partner institutions in six countries, together with speech and occupational therapists and clinicians that are making sure that our speech recognition uh, technology tool is, again, addressing the you know, unique needs of our users. So how does it work? So, Standard speech recognition systems that we're all familiar with, Siri, Samsung, Google, all work, um, are designed for standard speech. Now, it, it works by grouping standard speech patterns to form an average. Now, what happens if your speech patterns diverge from the average, as you can see from the bottom half of this slide? So how is a standard speech recognition system going to recognize your voice? Well, it can't. And that's where voice it comes in. We learn the person's unique pronunciation and then continue to learn over time. Now we learned from our testing that the human-to-human -human interaction enabled by our first products could be empowering and transformative. But now, in a world increasingly activated by voice, we realized that we could do more. We could help them talk to their machines. Many in our community currently rely on human caregiver support for their basic human needs. Voice-driven technology can provide a whole new dimension of independence. That's the difference between voice technology because it is convenient and very fun, and voice technology because it is life-changing. Now, we're a small startup. We're 16 people now of technologists, and we're building a sophisticated technology. So we've been able to get this far to fund our development through kind of a creative combination of government grants, corporate cash prize competitions, and traditional investment. We're doing our first clinical pilot, funded by the MS Society, together with collaborators at University of Buffalo. And just last week, we announced integration of voice at technology with Amazon Alexa via Alexa Voice Services. So it's 2018. And it's totally mainstream to direct your phone, your car, home appliances all by voice. But many of the people who actually need voice-driven technologies the most cannot access them because they don't have standard speech. So our vision ultimately is to ensure that speech technology is designed for anyone and everyone. Thank you very much.